T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and lift off. Northwestern's Martian habitat adopts a unique 3D printable inner spherical shell and outer parabolic dome. Through the utilization of space, material, and constructability, the habitat is set apart, creating a superior internal environment, stable and protected against the harsh Martian climate. This is made possible by three distinguishing features. The first key aspect is the internal shape of the structure, which is made possible by printing over an inflatable pressure vessel, an essential part of the cargo brought to Mars. This allows our 3D printer to create a suspended geometry without jeopardizing the structural integrity during the build process. This pressure vessel will also later serve as the primary barrier for maintaining an internal atmosphere, which the structure itself could not hold alone. The second feature of note is our entryway system. The entryways extend from opposite ends of the structure and serve as the primary entrances and connections for astronauts, rovers, and equipment that will be essential for the daily work on Mars. These connections are laid out on the main axis to permit future junctions with other pod units. The last major component to highlight are the cross beams that form the main structural backbone of the dome. These beams have been optimized for the required strength under reduced gravity loading and Mars level wind loads while providing an adequate factor of safety. They will be printed in tandem with the pressure vessel, thus providing continuous shape and strength. The interior layout is where this design truly sets itself apart. The entire interior is based off of separating wet areas from dry areas. Wet rooms, such as the lab and the kitchen, are on the opposite side of the habitat from dry rooms, such as the bedrooms. This allows for a concentration of plumbing and mechanical units within the wet side of the habitat, which decreases the overall amount of resources necessary to create this habitat, as well as eliminates excess materials running through the structures, floors, and walls. The placement of the various rooms in our habitat also demonstrates an intuitive understanding of how astronauts would move around and use the space. The concentration of the bedrooms and bathroom alongside an interior hallway creates privacy and allows for further separation, not only of the wet and dry sections, but also of the public and private. Our public wing includes the main living area, workstation, kitchen, and laboratory, and the private wing is composed of the bedrooms and bathroom. Privacy is necessary for astronauts who will be living in close quarters for an extended period of time. This goal is achieved by creating a central wall that acts as a hallway barrier to separate the bedrooms from the rest of the space. The wall will act functionally as a retractable divider, which can be used to create a quieter entryway towards the bedrooms, or can be adjusted to direct movement between adjacent attached units. The sizing of the different areas was informed by the NASA High Seas Mars Habitat, and the spherical shape allows the rooms to fit into a well-spaced but compact unit. Additionally, this design affords the ability to combine multiple units into a large community of habitats. The two hatch openings directly across from each other allow for easy connection at either end, and with the creation of a central node building would lead to an expansive community that traverses the Martian landscape. Our vision of the Martian habitat combines effective structural engineering, the ability to build using Martian materials, an intuitive floor plan that creates private and public spaces while combining mechanical systems for each construction, and the ability to connect habitats to create a community on the planet's surface. We believe that future Martian expeditions can benefit from our design to complete NASA's mission, to explore the universe and search for life, and to inspire the next generation of explorers as only NASA can.